What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? Let's talk Monday slate, February 15, 2021. We have about a seven game slate. So, and uh, there's going to be a lot of players out as we almost do every single day. So, let's go jump straight to it and let's talk about the slate. Let's start with the point guard positions. All right. So, for the point guard, we have Steph Curry, uh, Trey Young, Kyrie. I'm not really looking forward to play those expensive guys. I mean, of course, Steph Curry can always go for 60. Trey Young can also. All of them can go there. Uh, Kyrie, out of those three, is my favorite. The fact that KD is out. Kyrie had a bad game. I don't see how, I don't see him having a bad game back to back. So let I'm gonna go. Kyrie is one of the guys I'm looking to play, but he is not the guy I'm looking to give you guys. All right. So also. Uh, Ben Simmons, uh, there's a chance we could have uh, Embiid out. If Embiid is out, then Ben Simmons came, comes to play. Uh, Fax is uh, playing right now. He has missed uh, the last game, but uh, it's a back-to-back. -back. Uh, he's young, so he should be good to go. Uh, the good thing is they're playing the Kings. If Fax is in, then he's definitely in play. Black then 7.8. It looks like he's getting back to shape, but I think I would rather go with Wall over Bragdon here. Uh, yes, I might have a lineup where I have Bragdon over Wall, but I would say 7 out of 10, I would go with Wall here, especially going back to D.C. to play against his old team, the team that the only other team that he knows. So definitely uh, Wall is uh, one of the players I'm looking uh, to play. Uh, I would say right now my top two point guard, all right? Uh, all the players I do like here is uh, if somehow Fag's gonna miss, then Ali Burden definitely comes to play. Uh, could be why this 5.8k, you know, he can always go off here and there. But uh, I'm not really looking forward to play Kobe White. I think I'd rather go with Garland here and Nan. I like those two guys over Peyton too. I like Nan and Garland over Peyton. And between Garland and Nan, I would go with Garland here. Uh, Derrick Rose has been doing his thing. He had a day off, so he should be good to go. Uh, Derrick Rose doesn't need much right now to do his thing. Uh, so I do like Derrick Rose at 5.1K here. Uh, and then there's this cheap guy. After all those guys, the Raul Nero. Okay. Raul Nero, 3.7K, most likely going to get his start. Uh, and going to play a lot of minutes because if you go to Washington, let's go to Washington real quick. If you look at the point guard position right now, Westbrook most likely going to be out. Uh, Ish Smith is going to be the same thing. So it's going to be uh, Joe Robinson and, uh, excuse me, Raul Nero. And most likely Raul Nero going to get the start here. So 3.7K. And uh, give me some Raul Nero here. Uh, so I'll, the thing about it, I want to go with Wall here. But I cannot ignore that 3.7K. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with Raul Nero as my point guard and shooting guard to me it's uh <laughs> you have Arden and Bill here you can pick your choice here man uh the thing is you can go with the discount here take the 800 discount uh or you can just go with Arden because Arden has been great so uh but for right now I'm gonna go with Bill here take the discount on the 10k with Bill uh at uh 9.8k. So give me some bill here. But again, I do love Arden here. Arden is definitely one of my top, one of my top uh, three uh, at the position, at the shooting guard position. Uh, there's a chance Paul George could come back. Uh, I don't know if uh, Kawhi going to be playing tomorrow as of right now. He is not resting. So there's a chance he could be out tomorrow too. If he's out, Paul George is back. And most likely Paul George will be ready to go, would be a full go. If that's the case, then I would love Paul George here at that price. But I still would rather go with uh, Bradley Bill and Harden over Paul George. Or the shooting guard I do like here is uh, Lou Williams has been doing okay. It looks like he's back in form. But I think I would rather go with Sexton and Gordon over Lou Williams. Also Tyler Hero. So uh, the top two guys are the main guys I'm looking at right now. At least one of, them, I mean, not at least one of them. And then my other point guard would be around those 5K guys. You have uh, Gordon. You also have Sex and 6.5, Gordon 6.2. But the 5K, Tyler Hero, 5.7K. Love Tyler Hero here. 
Jordan Clarkson 5.5. I like Clarkson. And uh, Kevin Herder has been doing decent. And then you know quickly can always get there. So definitely those are the guys I'm looking at that price range. So one of those guys with one of the top guys at the, uh, as far as prices, uh, Arden and Bill. For small forward, uh, Kawhi. Okay, if Kawhi is out, then Kid is out, then Butler definitely going to be one of the most popular play because of the position at 8.9K. Most likely it's a guarantee 40 plus. So why not just put him in your lineup, at least 50% uh, of your lineup. And you know for sure one of your positions is covered. Then you just got to find a second one. And Kelly Oubre fit that bill. And also Bonds. I think here, I would rather go with Bonds here, even though Kelly Oubre has been good lately. I would take Bonds here. And Bogdanovich, here and there, can, you know, uh, there was the time when he was really playing really, really bad. He has been playing better lately. But definitely uh, uh, is a guy I wouldn't mind taking a chance on here. Because he does have an upside. Toscano on the sand, I don't mind. The position is not really... Once after those two... After uh, the, the three guys, which is Butler, Kelly Oubre, and Bonds, if uh, Kawhi is out, we don't really have anybody else. Which, you know, we have Barrett, but he hasn't been playing enough minutes. Uh, Nicholas, uh, he is actually playing right now, and he is not looking good. So... Uh, uh, but I don't mind playing him because of the fact that I know he's one of those players, especially without those guys. He can do uh, many different things. He can uh, rebound, assist, play a little bit of defense, and score uh, when he wants to. So, But Joe Angles could be in a good spot here without KD. I mean, sorry, I'm talking about Joe Harris. Yeah, one of the Joes. Uh, Joe Harris could be in a good spot here, but Joe Angles is also 4.9. Those guys... Uh, at Joe Ingles have the ball in his hand a little bit more. Uh, sometimes Joe Harris will do a little bit more, but most of the time he's a catch and shoot guy. But uh, if there's a day he could do it, and that should be tomorrow night. So I do like both Joe, the Joe Ingles and Joe Harris here. And Justin Halliday has been decent all year. Uh, so definitely like him at 4.8K. Uh, Daniel House, I know he had a bad game. Uh, but I can see him bounce back here, 4.2K. Love that price here. Uh, it was a blowout. That's why I see 22 minutes. And Duncan Robinson, uh, I'm I'm going to keep playing him because I know he just going to snap out of that funk he has been in for at least over a month. But I'm going to keep playing him. The price is just too good for me not to play him. The minutes is going to be there for him if he is doing good. So, yes, I do like him here. And that's basically it. Uh, other guys, I can see maybe Danny uh, because of the fact that uh, Wes is going to be out. And if he does get his start, uh, or even if he doesn't, uh, I can see him play enough minutes to get there. Uh, Chetty Osman, I got to see what he's doing tonight because his game just started. Uh, based on what he does as far as minutes, not exactly fantasy points, but I want to see how he does in minutes. So uh, that's gonna that's gonna be one of the reasons to see if I wanna play him or not. Uh, TLC 3.8k with KD. Maybe he could enter in the starting lineup, or maybe they might go. If they're gonna need somebody bigger than that. Novell, whatever his name is, maybe. Oh, I wanna go back to shooting guard here, guys. Uh, I forgot to talk about one guy. Let's go to Brooklyn game here. It's a late game, booking game. Uh, the shooting guard, Bruce Brown, is only 3.9K. So I do like um, Bruce Brown to especially without KD. He was in the starting lineup. I can see him get in the starting lineup. So, And then uh, give me some Bruce Brown here. Uh, great price here. And then uh, for oh, small forward. So when I'm looking at this small forward here, I have to go with Butler here. All right. I'm going to go straight up with Butler. And the power forward, you have some bonus 9.6k. I like that price. I like him against a team that he should be able to do everything he wants. Um, Bam, I also like Bam at 8.7k. Now, all those guys average between 41 to 44 fantasy points. But out of those three here, Julius Rendo is the guy here uh, that I want to get. That I like out of the three. I like all three guys, but Julius Rendo is, to me, is the better one to have here. Uh, other guys I do like is, uh, let's go down, 
to buy a series if MB is gonna be out definitely gonna be uh, one of my favorite play the same goes for Allen if German remain out because German is I don't believe he's resting uh, O'Neill here and there he gonna have some great games but uh, I might see myself go at five ten percent but I think I'd rather go with Nerlens Noel here. I know the first stint as it started didn't go too well, but I do like Nerlens Noel here at 4.8k. That goes, that's, I mean, the same goes for Jeff Green here at 4.7k. Uh, the Patrick Williams experiment, at least for uh, tomorrow night slate, it's, I'm not really looking forward to play him, especially going against those uh, front court guys in Indiana. Uh, Wagner, I'm glad he's a power forward, 4.1k. He's another cheap guy I can see myself go to. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he will play more minutes. He was a blowout, which is crazy. Uh, Washington blowing out people. <laughs> yeah, but it was a blowout. That's possibly why he only played 22 minutes, but he did start, so I was glad to see that. So, uh, and then he's a power forward. That's make it perfect. All right. So the power forward position, if you don't want to go expensive, you can. There's a lot of ways you can go cheap with Jeff Green and then Snowell uh, and then Wagner here. Okay, but me, I'm gonna go straight up and go give you guys. Uh, uh, let's go with Rando here. I'm gonna go with Rando here. I was thinking of going nowhere, but I'm gonna go with Rando here. And for center, okay, center is a little bit different. Okay, right now I'm looking at Howard. 3.6k. All right. If I were gonna get a start, then give me Howard at 3.6k. But if he is not going to get a start, then uh, Embiid at 10.7k against Shooter. I don't care who who is going against. Embiid gonna do his thing. I would rather play him over Gobert, but I do like Clint, Clint here at 7.8k. Uh, I don't mind my there at uh, 6.8 against Andy. And Truman still 6.5. Most likely. Oh, and Truman was resting. Sorry. So he will be back tomorrow. So uh, I, he will be back tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah. He will be back tomorrow. Uh, so definitely Truman tomorrow to me is one of those top three centers for the slate. Uh, yes, the miss might not be there, but I still think he's one of the top. And then you have Cousins. He has been bad. Uh, it's been a, like three straight blowout. Uh, he didn't play at all in the second quarter. He came back in the third quarter. He did okay. Get it double double, but still end up with only 22, something like 20 points, 23 fantasy points. Wasn't enough. First 22 wasn't enough. But uh, I still think Cousins is in play. And in the slate like tomorrow, a lot of people are not gonna be playing him. They're gonna remember what he did this in the last three games. By looking at the stats, what they done, what happened in the games, and the fact that they are playing Washington, and I don't see Washington blow them out. I, I don't see that's a game they should be able to win, and the world gonna be ready for this game. So uh, I do like Cousins here. So again, if our world is not starting, then I can see myself go with Cousins or German. Okay, most likely German here, uh, and a back to back. Uh, He's resting, and I think Truman can easily get you 50 here at 6.5k. So those are my five players for uh, for uh, FD. Again, guys, it's not most likely if Howard is not starting, it's gonna be Truman or Cousin. And also, if Howard is starting, I see like Drum and Cousins. All right. Um, okay, so let's go to so uh, right now I'm looking at full center basically. I'm looking at I would if you start Cousins, Drum, Capella, and yeah, that's it. Those are the four guys I'm mostly looking to play. All right, let's check out DK. Okay, let's do DK. For DK, guys, my five players are. All right, so let me look at my notes. That's FD. Let's go to DK. Okay, where is DK at? I didn't. Okay. All right, guys, for DK, uh, certain points I just don't understand it, so let me go ahead and put them here. Bill. Bradley Bill. 
Look at that price, man. 8.9k. <laughs> I don't I don't understand this price. It's almost like an error to me. Bradley Bill is the first guy when I'm looking at it, I'm gonna put up there. Also, another player I'm gonna put up there is what well, the matchup and this game I know he's gonna do his thing. Uh give me John Wall John Wall here at 7.5k. Alright, so uh other players I do like here is I'm gonna go with uh, Rando here, all right, at 8.7k. So I was looking at Rando or uh, Butler. So you got Butler at 8.2k. Ooh, I'm gonna go with Butler here, and I'm also gonna go with Rando here, all right. I'm gonna go with Butler. So I'm, so far I'm giving you guys a lot of expensive players. You only have 4.5 left, okay? Uh, most likely I my update is 4.5 left, but to be honest. I see it, we're gonna get a lot of cheap guys, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go. So what we can do here, Wagner, for example. If Wagner, Wagner is uh, 3.2k, so I already bring the average to 4.5. All right, 4.5. I still think you can get a great team, and there's in, there's other players that's 4k and on there you can play that can actually get you 30 plus fantasy points here. So that's why I'm going to keep it that way with a 4.5 average left. Usually, uh, I wouldn't want to do something like that because who are you going to really get uh, four players on the, uh, you know, four players who are on, that's, the average price is less than 4.5K for four players. Uh, usually, you won't see a item like that in the top winning lineup, but it's possible on a slate like that where we're going to get a lot of cheap guys that's gonna be in spots where they can go off. So my five for this case, John Wall, Bill, Butler, Rando, and Wagner. Again, guys, we're gonna, my cheap play is gonna be out tomorrow on TikTok. Uh, there's a link on uh, YouTube on the description that take you to my TikTok. So uh, you're gonna see all those cheap guys, you can use them to go ahead and complete this lineup. And uh, you possibly even can go with a uh, five, Okay, guys, and then get you two other cheap guys to complete that lineup. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys. Good luck. Hopefully, you guys want some good money. And uh, I'm out. Oh, drop a like in this video for me. Ciao.